Kai, if you're looking to create these amazing transitions between two images without writing a single line of code, you are on the right place. We just released this amazing plugin, which allows you to create this basically in two clicks. So let's go back to work. So let's go to our website in DivHunt. And first thing that we need to do is to install a plugin image hover effect. So let's go to the settings now, plugins. Let's find that plugin. It's all the way down. Let's install it and we are ready to go. Now we can go back to the builder. And here where I have this image, I might want to create that effect that we just saw. So first thing that we need to do, we need to replace this image to be a div. So in order for us to work with this plugin, we need to work with divs or link blocks. In my case, div is enough. So I'll just replace this image into an empty div. Let's name it image transition, for example. And now all I need to do is go to the settings tab, transform and let's apply image hover effect. And now when I open the settings of this plugin, it's pretty easy from here. First thing that we have is this hover trigger and I will show you the example of, wo of what this could do a bit later. But most importantly what we need now is this default image, hover image and transition effect. So for this one let's upload some images. For example for the default image we can use this one and for the hover image we can use this one. And our transition effect is set to rain. So if I hover now uh, this image we'll see this amazing effect is already working and it is pretty much ready. Now I can use this option to customize my effect. So first thing that we can use is to choose something else. For example, for transition effect, I can choose wave and that will look like this. If I choose something like, I don't know, snow, it will look like this. So there's many good options to choose from and as well, if nothing satisfies you here, you can upload your own. So let's click here the custom transition effect. And let's just click here. And for this example, I will just select the one logo. So let's use that one and see what happens. So if I hover now for a second, you will see the hunt logo in between images, which is pretty amazing. Okay, so for the intensity, we can lower the the distortion of this animation so if I set like for example 10 we will barely see the logo and uh, 100 is obviously the highest and for the speed if I set for example 0.5 this animation is going to be very fast and this is just like easings you can play around with the options and now we can go back to this hover trigger options by default it is set to self what this means this means hover transition effect will happen when I hover the element on which I applied transform to. In my case, it's this div image transition. But this doesn't need to be always the same. Maybe I want this to happen when user enters with the mouse inside of this section. So how we, how we can do that? We can select this hover trigger and select other tag. And now we are able to select different trigger. So in order for me to select a different trigger, we will see what is the name of this section. So when user enters this section, I want this image to change. This section is named about tree. So I can go back to this uh, uh, select trigger here and let's find about tree. So now if user enters here, transition will happen. As well, you can trigger transition when user enters this CTA here. Is the same process like for this uh, section here. So I can name this button for example let's talk and then I can go back to this uh, trigger and let's set that button to be our trigger. So now it is not going to trigger when my mouse is inside of anything here but it will trigger when I set a let's talk which is pretty amazing. Okay, now other triggers that we need to talk about is this parent class and children class and I will show you why. So in this example below, we have these uh, team members. I want when I hover the card here to change this image. And why I don't want to do it like I did it here? Because this element is repeating. In my case, it is being repeated because I'm using loop here. But in your case, it could be a, like a CMS collection or REST API or also loop. And when working with the loop, it's best to trigger it by a class. 
Now let's do the same thing that we did with this image on these images as well. So let's select this, this image. Let's replace it into a div so we can find div here. Right click, replace it to be an empty div. I can name it for example a person image let's say. And now we are ready to apply transform to it. So let's go to the settings here. Let's set image hover effect and let's apply some images. So let's go here. Let's set default image, for example, to be this girl. And on the hover, I want maybe this girl. In your case, this probably should be like uh, two same persons, but I'm working with the placeholders here. But idea is when user hovers this card, he sees one image of team member and then he sees his second image. So for the transition effect, we can set, for example, glitch uh, and this is going to work, but it is working only when I hover the image. Now what I want to achieve is when I hover the card, I want the uh, effect to happen. So I will set this card to have a class. So let's go to the designer tab and let's just set class team member. Let's go back to settings, image hover effect, and let's set hover trigger to be a parent class because this uh, card is the parent of our image and for the parent class we will just enter the same class we added previously to this element so if i save now when i have this element this image is going to be triggered in instantly so uh, that's pretty cool one thing that i want to do now is i want to make them circles so let's go to the designer tab and let's just set border radius is already set to 100 percent but we need to set overflow hidden. So now it is working pretty good. And now I'm ready to change images for other people. So let's go click on this person image. Let's go to here, default image. Maybe I want this one. And for the hover image, let's use this one. So this is going to work perfectly. I can do this one as well. Let's write like this. And that, that is perfectly working now. I will not feel all the rest. And that's how you use this amazing plugin and add that premium touch to your websites.